Hey guys, back with another video. This time I'm going to talk about my new tripod that I finally got around to getting. And it's the Gitso. It's finally a Gitso. It's the GK0545T-82QD series Zero Traveler Carbon Fiber Tripod with center ball head. Did you get all that? <laughs> it's uh, basically a Gitso is based out of northern Italy at Bassano del Grappa. Gitso has been around for about 90 years. The products are manufactured by Gitso SA and are distributed in the United States by Manfrotto Distribution Incorporation. Incorporated. It's a part of the VTech group. So product highlights, it's a load capacity is 22 pounds, maximum height is 52.4 inches, minimum height is 12 inches, fold to the length is 14.4 inches, it's four section legs, weight is 2.8 pounds, and they're reverse folding legs design. Does have a short center column, which makes it even shorter. Has the arc archetype compatible ball head. Comes with a shoulder strap. Operating temperature 22 to 158 degrees Fahrenheit. And you can sign up for an additional seven year warranty. Got to go on their site for that. It uses the Carbon X X Act E E I don't know how you say that E X Act tubing for additional strength and stiffness compared to the carbon. 6x tubes used in their previous versions and some of their current ones as well. Um, the head itself, you can buy it separately, but I bought it as a kit. The head is the GH138 2 TQD series 1 Traveler Center Ball Head. And it's a what they call an, an archetype compatible head that is ideal to match for the Traveler Series 0 and 1 tripods. The head itself stands at 4.1 inches high, holds up to 24 pounds, and weighs 0.9 pounds. I'm not sure the head holds 24, but my tripod holds 22. I'm not sure how they arrived at that. It must be just the variance, the averaging up for the various 0 and 1 series tripods. The head has a separate lock for the 360 degree panning and another control for the movement of the ball. A tungsten, a tungsten uh, disulfide coating on the ball helps keep the ball movement smooth and minimizes stick slip. A, a screw, <laughs> excuse me, a screw knob lock tightens down to include a quick release plate and a bubble level helps you maintain straight horizons in your images according to the documentation. So yeah, pretty much it's, you know, it's a pretty nice tripod. I was looking for something that's lightweight, compact, and that also folds into my small backpack. And I was, I looked at other brands. Uh, probably the closest one would probably be the Be Free, the Monfrado Be Free, Monfrado gets the same company. That can be had around three hundred bucks. Their carbon fiber version, but it's a little it's not as, I don't know, it's not as sturdy. I guess I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't impressed with it. it. Had like thinner legs, and I think it only holds like eight pounds. I mean, not that I would ever subject the load to twenty-two pounds. I mean. You're asking for trouble <laughs> for any tripod but as you can see the size standard coke bottle and then you have the tripod itself so it's pretty small and for reference in the background here is my uh the old school mag fiber 055 i believe 0555 tripod suckers heavier and it's not rated as high as this guy so i was really surprised about that and then you get you know, it comes in a box here. Nice little dust bag, gets a dust bag. I throw this tripod in here and then I put this in my small backpack, so that works out pretty good. Comes in a nice little box. Comes with a couple of nice accessories. Comes with a couple of uh, Allen wrenches, Allen keys, and Torx bits. If you want to replace and adjust pieces, which is really nice. And then it's got some documentation here going on. And this is a tiny little center column, so you can really lower it down. And it comes with a shoulder strap. Yeah, so if you want to tie it to yourself, you know, tie the tripod up and carry it, which works pretty good. I mean, it's not bad. All right, guys, that does it for me for this tripod, the Gitso Traveler Zero Series tripod. I know at 52.4 inches, it's not the highest tripod in the world. 
but it is one that I picked just for its portability and size. And I'm pretty happy with it. I guess the main downside, it is a little, a bit pricey, just shy of a thousand bucks with the head and the tripod itself. But it is a get so and hopefully it'll last me a lifetime and hopefully I'll get more use out of it now that it's smaller and it folds compact, compactly here. All right, guys. Well, see you next time. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, post them down there. Thanks.